Welcome back. Canadian cannabis company Afria will expand to South America and the Caribbean through its latest acquisition. The company is acquiring assets in Argentina, Colombia, Jamaica and uh, rights in Brazil in a deal priced at $193 million. For more, we turn to the CEO of Afria, Vic Neufeld. He's in the studio right now. Thanks for coming by. Uh, let's begin by explaining these assets. Uh, what exactly are you buying? So. The entire um, acquisition starts with Argentina, an area that uh, we personally have invested lots of time, probably about a year ago, and specifically with the Argentinian Ministry of Health and the Ministry of Agriculture. So in there we are uh, acquiring the only license given uh, by the ministry uh, for the importation of oils, mm -hmm. uh, CBD oils, uh, our Redu oil in this case. Uh, where the government places the orders and uh, our orders are now sitting with Health Canada waiting for a, an export certificate. Uh, we have the import certificates already uh, submitted to Health Canada. Uh, and we go from there. Uh, recently, very recently I may add, we've had a request to uh, participate in a joint venture on cultivation. So they absolutely uh, accept and, and uh, are desiring of our greenhouse technology. And uh, so that's, that's the plan for Argentina. Uh, Colombia, we did extensive work, uh, months of work, I may add, on uh, understanding the lay of the land, both uh, politically, uh, from a safety perspective. Uh, we're in the coffee land region of Colombia, a beautiful, as flat as one can find a country in the, in the middle of the Andes. Um, and the license is already secured, but also the people, the the the. the the in-country management team that uh, we met and spent many days with are just really passionate and really skilled. So to, to us, it was also the people. We needed to make sure that we had the right infrastructure uh, and uh, we have found them. The seller is a company called Scython Biosciences and I've looked at their press release on this story today and they refer to this as a, um, a partnership or, or a, an alignment of some kind. Can you explain that? Is this a straight up sale or is this a partnership? So this is a, a, a hybrid of a typical acquisition so we're primarily buying some strategic assets out of Scythian and assets I may add that Afria was part of the journey uh, we had supply contracts with both Argentina and with Colombia um, I wanted to make sure we are in full control of our destiny so the acquisition uh, proceeded it's not a, a partnership uh, to to that extent we are buying all of the LATAM uh, assets uh, Colombia Argentina uh, the uh, Jamaica license and we have a uh, right of first refusal uh, on a Brazilian license which they are embarking on and proceeding with so 193 million dollars Canadian is the price tag Canadian. in all in Afri Afria stock correct correct uh, uh, million dollars of assumed, assumed, debt. assumed debt. any thoughts on that on using the uh, the company's uh, stock as a currency to make a deal oh absolutely not uh, fairness opinions valuations from independent investment bankers very reputable came back and we were at the lower end of, of their range of value so I know from a perspective of shareholder value it's very accretive to us and looking at the the business models that uh, our in-country partners have developed and we're now taking it further and refining it, uh, where we will be deposited before the end of calendar 19. So very aggressive, uh, but very doable. Stock is down today, likely on this news. It's not, uh, it's not unusual for acquiring companies to sell off in the short term. When will it be accretive? Accretive, of course, means adding to your uh, revenue and profit. Correct. Uh, we're, we figure by the end of 2019, and I, we, we need that time frame because using Columbia as an example, uh, we have now, once we've now crossed the finish line and we've got two months for closing, I think sometime mid-September, so between now and then we're going to put a lot of dominoes in place, ready to pull CapEx uh, expenditures. So the building of phase one of a three-phase program in, in Columbia is, is a good example, oil extraction inclusive. So we, we therefore then need the genetics to uh, come forward, the harvest, so we figure by the by the end of 2019 at the latest will be uh, revenue positive, uh, uh, incurring revenues, uh, but also EBITDA positive. How, how much of a challenge is it dealing with the different laws and regulations in these different countries? Um, 
Not so much challenging. Uh, you just need to be committed and uh, be forthright and with clarity and making sure what you're saying you're going to deliver, you better deliver. Because if you don't, uh, the exit door is right around the corner. And, and that speaks again to the various in-country general managers that came with this acquisition. Uh, I repeat, the, the, the people, the skill, the leadership that is part of this acquisition is really second to none. And that was very important to us. What about the state of these economies and how, how does that play into this industry or, or to your businesses? Uh, these are very, uh, fair to say, volatile economies. They can swing between between good times and bad times very, very quickly. So in Argentina, I, th I think it's very moderate growth. It's less than 2%. Um, inflation really is the, uh, the concern in, in that country. But again, we're dealing with the government directly. These are orders that the government is placing with us through our subsidiary called ABB Pharma uh, that came with this acquisition. Mm -hmm. Colombia, I think they're projecting almost 3% growth uh, mm -hmm. in the next year, uh, which is similar to, say, Canada. Uh, inflation is under control, and but but both of these countries, and to to a lesser extent Brazil, because it's not far enough down the road of uh, of, of culmination of, of of a license, the the determination by the Ministry of Justice, Ministry of Health, Ministry of Agriculture of these various countries are very determined to bring medical cannabis, high CBD, uh, in our case it's the Redu oil uh, that serves uh, thousands and thousands of Canadians right now in terms of an import and we figure this is going to be about a two years worth of transition of importing oils out of Canada uh, until we get our in-country cultivation and processing. How did these talks begin? Who approached who? So, I was, um, about a year ago, when Scythian was incorporated, uh, they, they looked to Afria as the horse to, to ride in certain countries where they, had, uh, they were the, the minor, so to speak, the exploration um, of countries where we weren't involved at that time. So we made, we as an Afria made a strategic investment. I think we acquired about 10% of Scythian. And with that, we had bo two board representations. So uh, myself, as well as another independent board member of Afria joined the Scythian board. And so conversations and developments in country A, B, and C um, with the supply agreements that I already had spoke about, um, it became clear that as we take the next major step forward uh, in terms of relationship building and bringing the Afria story forward, we needed to acquire. Uh, secondly, though, uh, Free also in early 2018 came up with a very rigorous uh, governance policy. Um, the independent board members brought it forward and uh, are the three co-founders who are also members of the board absolutely endorsed it. So that required me to step down. Uh, from uh, the board of Scythian uh, and that happened several months ago and um, as a press release said uh, left behind a lot of value but it was the right thing to do for Afria. So that's where the conversation started and then it evolved to okay now it's time for Afria to really really take the business model forward. Thanks a lot for talking to us about it. Excellent Paul. That was Vic Neufeld, he's CEO of Afria, has done, announced a big deal today. Well, the